This tutorial is going to show you three things. How to order a domain through WP Gateway, how to order an SSL certificate for that domain through WP Gateway, and then how to install your first website. So, first things first is order a domain. So you come to the blue menu bar down from the top and click on order domain and we first of all select the Amazon server whether it's USA or Europe and we'll enter the domain name. Okay, seems it is available and you select the number of years you want the registration to go for and you put your name, your address, city, state, etc. Once it's all filled in you click next and you confirm that you're registering the domain and here it tells us that the domain has been registered. So here it's telling me that the domain has been registered through WP Gateway but it is not yet propagated. So we'll go to Domains and you see here that it reads inactive and this may be inactive for five minutes or an hour and typically it's a very short period of time. When this red inactive button turns to green active we can go ahead and install our website and purchase our SSL. So I'm going to pause this until the light turns green. You'll also receive an email notification telling you that your domain is active. So let's just refresh the page. Okay, everything is here now. So we've got the WordPress login, but we can't log in yet because there's nothing on it. We have our cPanel login and here is the username and password and we have our FTP login. Okay, and we can create an email address here if we wish. We won't do that right now. So we'll come down and click on action and select install. We can also come up to the top toward the left and click on install here. So either one works. You can enter a new admin username and password each time you set up an account or you can come to account and click on default inst install settings and add your license email, your email address, username, password, all your information here and it will automatically enter this information when you set up a site. So I think I will do that right now. Um, set your time zone. You can set the default for database name for installation and just set it as default. I like to set it as random and update. Okay, settings successful. Okay, now I'm going to install a theme and you can come up to the menu bar at the very top to the right of domains and click on install okay and select this way or you come to the right end of the row that your domain is on and click on act the drop down arrow by action and the top choice is install so click on install and I'm going to install drag and drop and this form is already filled in because I entered all the details in default install settings. We'll enter the site title and come and select a niche. Now you can just select one from what you see here or you can type in the first few letters of the niche that you're looking for and do a search or you can come down and click on show more. So there are some 280 plus niche themes in here. So if you can't sleep one night, come on over here and go through them. So we'll click on install theme. If you look up the top here, you can see the progress. Okay, and here's all the installation details. And you don't need to worry about saving this or doing anything else because we'll go back to domains and WP Gateway is kind enough to save all of the details here for us. Same with we have all of our cPanel information. And we will go to add SSL. And here it reads, are you sure you want to add an SSL certificate for $27 for this domain? And we will click OK. $27 a year processing fee is $1.35, total amount is $28.35. So we'll order the SSL. 
and WP Gateway has made it even easier to add an SSL to your site. Used to be you had to get an email, click a, a link, acknowledge that you wanted the SSL, and that was all you had to do. Now you don't even have to do that. Success SSL certificate activation has been initiated for your domain name. Please check your email. You will receive four email. Two will be from Rapid SSL and they just give you the information, the details about your SSL certificate and one from WP Gateway that acknowledges that you've ordered the SSL and then a second one from WP Gateway telling you that the SSL certificate has been activated. So I ordered the SSL at 3.03 p.m. today and I got a notification from WP Gateway that the certificate was activated by 3.30 p.m. and then I got the information from Komodo. So it all happened very quickly and I didn't have to do anything. So this is what the email looks like that you receive from Positive SSL. So here's the certificate validation and again you don't have to do anything at all with this. You can save it in your records if you want. Here's a file that you can download. That's one. And this is the second email that I received. And that wraps up this tutorial.